Hello and welcome to the Bible Knowledge Quiz Channel. Today, we've curated 15 challenging questions to test your familiarity with the Holy Bible. Are you ready to prove just how well you know the scriptures? But wait! Before we dive into the quiz, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Every like and subscription helps us spread the word of God even further. And once you're done with the quiz, drop a comment below sharing how many questions you got right. We'd love to hear from you. So, are you prepared to embark on this biblical journey? Let's dive into the video. Question 1. What fruit did Eve eat in the Garden of Eden? A. Pomegranate B. Apple C. It is not specified. D. Fig Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Genesis, chapter 3, verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat. Question 2. Which son of Adam and Eve committed the first murder? A. Seth B. Cain C. Abel D. Enos Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Genesis, chapter 4, verse 8, And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. Question 3. Who was turned into a pillar of salt? A. Lot's wife. B. Sarah. C. Rebecca. D. Hagar. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Genesis, chapter 19, verse 26. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. Question 4. What did God ask Abraham to sacrifice? A. His wife. B. His servant. C. A lamb. D. His son. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Genesis, chapter 22, verse 2. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering. Question 5. By what method did Jesus say that a person would not perish but have eternal life? A. By believing in him. B. By following the Ten Commandments. C. By attending the synagogue. D. By paying alms. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Question 6. Which disciple denied Jesus three times? 
A. Andrew B. James C. Peter D. John Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Luke chapter 22 verse 61 And the Lord turned and looked upon Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Question 7 On which island was Paul shipwrecked as he was taken to Rome? A. Crete B. Malta C. Sicily D. Cyprus Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Acts, chapter 28, verse 1. And when they were escaped, then they knew that the island was called Melita, Malta. Question 8. Who recognized Jesus as the Christ when he was presented at the temple as a baby? A. Zechariah B. Nicodemus C. Simeon D. Ahab Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Luke chapter 2, verses 25 and 26. And, behold, there was a man in Jerusalem, whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Question 9. Which gospel is written by a doctor? A. Matthew B. Mark C. Luke D. John Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Colossians, chapter 4, verse 14. Luke, the beloved physician, and Damas greet you. Question 10. Which king asked for the writings of David? A. Saul B. Nebuchadnezzar C. Jeroboam D. Hezekiah Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Second Chronicles, chapter 29, verse 30. Moreover, Hezekiah the king and the princes commanded the Levites to sing praise unto the Lord with the words of David and of Asaph the seer. Question 11. Who said, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? A. Isaiah B. Moses C. David D. Jesus Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Matthew, chapter 27, verse 46. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is to say, my God, my God, 
Why hast thou forsaken me? Question 12. Who was the first Christian martyr? A. Peter B. James C. Stephen D. Paul Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Acts chapter 7 verse 59. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Question 13. Who was sold into Egypt by his brothers? A. Benjamin B. Isaac C. Joseph D. Levi Time to think. The right answer is letter C, Genesis, chapter 37, verse 28. Then there passed by Midianites' merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver, and they brought Joseph into Egypt. Question 14. To whom did God give the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai? A. Aaron B. Moses C. Joshua D. Caleb Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Exodus, chapter 31, verse 18. And he gave unto Moses, when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony, tables of stone, written with the finger of God. Question 15. Who was known for his wisdom and wealth? A. Solomon B. Saul C. Samson D. Simon Time to think. The right answer is letter A. 1 Kings chapter 10, verse 23. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and for wisdom. Question 16. Who was told to arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins? A. Cornelius B. Felix C. Agrippa D. Paul Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Acts, chapter 22, verse 16. And now why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Question 17. Who was a tent maker by profession? A. Barnabas B. Silas C. Timothy D. Paul Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Acts, chapter 18, verse 3. And because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wrought for by their occupation they were tent makers. Question 18. Who said, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last? A. P. 
Peter, B. Paul, C. John, D. Jesus. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Revelation, chapter 22, verse 13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Question 19. Who prophesied that Jesus would be born in Bethlehem? A. Isaiah B. Micah C. Jeremiah D. Daniel Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Micah, chapter 5, verse 2. But thou, Bethlehem Ephratah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Question 20. Who wrote the book of Lamentations? A. Ezekiel B. Jeremiah C. Daniel D. Amos Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Title of the book Lamentations and historical context indicates Jeremiah as the author. Question 21. Who interpreted the writing on the wall for King Belshazzar? A. Nebuchadnezzar B. Shadrach C. Meshach D. Daniel Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Daniel, chapter 5, verses 25 to 28. And this is the writing that was written, Meni, Mene, Tekel, Upharsin. Daniel interpreted it for Belshazzar. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.